It is great to see our friend Travis Burks, a price cutter here, with us on National Supermarket Employee Day. And I mean, Trav, you know firsthand the supermarket employees at Price Cutter yes. are the best top notch all around that I've ever seen. Seriously, right. the nicest people. Yeah, I are. appreciate that. And they, everybody uh, strives to do well their job and they enjoy their job, and especially working with the public. Um, make sure you stop by when you're in Price Cutter Day. Make sure you thank them for. Oh yeah, that's serving. a great thing. I'm sure they the would appreciate from hearing that. The checker to the produce to meat to dairy, the center yeah. store, the store manager, all those people. Yeah. In there. My favorite thing helpful. is they, the employees there have been helpful even before I was spokesperson. They were still nice to me. I mean, over the top because I would go to somebody and be like, "Hey, I know it's not your department, but where's where's this?" Yes. And they're like, right. they put down everything they have and say, like, "Come with me," yeah. and they would walk me to the area. Right. Yeah. And help, I was like. These people are the friendliest. Yes, it's so nice because it's a big store. And sometimes it is a big you don't store. know which, you know, where yeah. to find something. Yeah. And sometimes we learn stuff at the same time by doing it. Yes, well, we that's do. Good. That's good. So, uh, let's jump into what we got today. I wanted to prepare today. I've got four meals here that took me about two hours, maybe a little less, to prepare. So, if you wanted to do this on a Sunday, you could have meals for the whole week. Oh, that's oh. So nice. and so yes. what we used was an Instapot or a pressure cooker, which is really simple and easy. It's pretty much just to dump recipes. So we will start on this and I'll let you guys try this as we go. So this Perfect. one here, Yay. Um, buffalo mac and, or I'm sorry, bacon mac and cheese. Ooh. Uh, took and a total of about 15 minutes. Thank you. All together. He put bacon in his. That's um, a great it's idea. fancier than ours. Yeah, and it's, it it was, it's as simple as a bag of macaroni, mm. four cups of water, some evaporated milk, Three bags of cheese and some bacon bits and stuff. Yum. And put it on there and let it cook. So yeah. the, you don't have to put in like raw strips of bacon, right? No, no. <laughs> bacon bits. Okay. No. Yeah, I use bacon bits. How did bits. you cook the bacon? Yeah, the bacon it it mm. wouldn't cook very well and there'd be kind of ripped. That's so delicious. But it turned Trav. out really well. So good. Wow. Love it. Now, secondly, uh, chicken noodle soup. Another very simple, easy one. Throw the chicken in there with your. Um, Celery and carrots and, and garlic. Could you put some in besides my mac and cheese? Oh, that's a great idea. That in I there? Was a little, and yeah. then the noodles they cook separately, obviously, because they're a little bit starchier in their egg noodles. Perfect. Okay. They're going to cook you. a little I gotta bit. I got to try different. that. Chicken noodle some? soup. That'll mm -hmm. cure anything. And then the way the weather went today, or the way it's going and the way it's going to continue to go, this is simple and easy. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Trap. <clears throat> so, the where did you put the pot then? Noodles? Different. So, in the, in the pot, I did the chicken, the carrots, the mm. celery, the onions, and the garlic. Wow. In the pot, mm -hmm. the noodles I cook separately, okay. and then added those in later. Whatever Only because flavors. egg noodles are a little bit starchier and they're going to foam up a little bit, so it's better to do those separate and then add them in and just let it These marinate on itself, so and good. it turns out really well. Mm. The flavors are so great. They're good, aren't they? I it's really love it. And it's simple, very mm -hmm. simple. You can put that on when you got home. By the time you got settled in, you got dinner for everybody. That's and delicious. the longer it sits, wow. the better it's going to be. The better be. it gets. On wow. down a little bit more. Uh, one of my favorites is spaghetti. Mm. I can eat spaghetti almost every day of the week. So in the Instant Pot, I put the, I browned the meat on the inside first. Mm -hmm. Then I added the spaghetti sauce, mm -hmm. a little bit of water, the noodles in there, closed it, cooked it for about 10 minutes, and voila, I got spaghetti. Yummy. Simple. Can wow! I have, can I have some spaghetti? You can have some spaghetti. Let's pull that back here. Um, also, we got the, you know, the bed and the, the bread in the bakery, which is really good. Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah, gosh, so good. good. The, um, and, and if you go up to the bakery aisle bakery. where the French bread is, yes. They have that homemade um, garlic butter in the little tub that you can buy, which I love on the French bread. Yes. And what's nice about so this good. is, you know, when you make a meals or you make something that takes additional dishes, right? Mm -hmm. This is a one-time deal, one pot, one one. Yeah, finisher, that is that's nice. It. That really. And then if you're nice. done, you can always just pull that out of there, put it in the fridge. That's right? true. And just heat it up the next day, or bake some. I love whatever leftovers. You do. I, I love favorite. them too. I yeah, do too. One of my favorites. So, did you, so what, what sauce did you put on this? What kind of? It's just, just spaghetti spray? sauce. Spaghetti sauce. Yep. Just mm. and you can pick any of your favorites. It just dumps right in there. A little bit of water, and mm -hmm. you got spaghetti. I love it. Simple. Mm -hmm. I so I have a pressure cooker. Is that the same, same. thing? Same. So okay. pressure cooker and instant pots. The recipes vary just a little bit based on what kind of of pressure or size you have. Okay. So the best thing to do is just look up the recipe. Um, was it the pressure cooker or instant pot? It's going to give both recipes on there. Mm. So. It was fun to try thing. it because I yeah. hadn't done a lot of work on one. We've had one for a while, but never really done it. And so to do this and prepare this, it was fun. It's easier than you thought. It's easier than I thought. Okay, great. Yay! Yeah, great. It's really simple. I'm and then one last thing here on the on the corner there. And today is Tuesday, so we got to talk oh, about Taco oh, Tuesday. Yes. <laughs> um, the Prairie Fresh signature pork roast that we've had on here before. Mm -hmm. There is a recipe on the back of that for pressure cooker. So it was very simple. 
take one of those roasts, cut it into four pieces, throw it in the pressure cooker for an, one hour. Mm -hmm. That's all it takes. In the oven, it takes about three and a half for one of those to cook. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. And then it comes out like that there with the shredded beef. That's a carne asada. Oh, I love that. I love it. You want to try? I'm sorry, shredded pork, not beef. Yes, can you have Fried. a tortilla? Right. Yes, and these are uh, low carb. Oh, there you go. Tortillas, Jerry. Thank you so much, yes. Trav. There you go. And it's I fun. love can, a taco station. Wouldn't that be a fun thing to have? Like build taco your own tacos? Taco is one of my favorite foods. And you can mix it up however you want. What I did with this one was I took some um, mm -hmm. some red pepper and green pepper, diced it up. The Chop Shop will have love that available for you as well. Love me some peppers. Uh, Tomatoes that are diced up. A little bit of mint for some sweetness. Oh, mint. Now, mint is a That is something taste. I never put on a taco. One, that one right there. Oh, yeah. A little sorry. guac. Oh, oh, oh uh, sour cream. Yes. Or now, is this one hot? You've got this. That that one there is not hot. And this one. Ranch. Uh, this. Uh, Hernandez chipotle sauce. It, you, it's not real spicy, but it, okay. it gives Here, it a nice flavor. Here's a spoon. Oh, thank you. I'm good. I'm good on that one now. Okay. Okay. Get a little bit yeah. of lettuce. I have some of this ranch secret sauce. Uh, I've not had this one though, which looks. Mix uh, that. Put some a little bit of that on there. It's okay. okay. I would like this. The sauce is everything, right? I believe so. <laughs> I think so. Too. Now, taste testing in my house, it was it was suggested that both sauces go on so that they mix them up. Okay. So what about the guac? Can, my is that panel. Gonna, is that gonna guac be always okay? is good with everything. Yep. All right. So I'm gonna put the sauce on top of there. Boy, that's gonna be a big bite. Yeah, I always make my tacos way too big. I do too, and then it's hard to eat. That's all right. The best part about a taco is what falls on the plate. <laughs> and then you know what I like yeah, to have do. Have a fork. But you know what I like to do with the drippings. The, the, when it falls on the plate, then I get tortilla chips. Yeah, and, dip and use the tortilla yeah, chips yeah. Right. too. That's a great idea. Ooh, that comes out. So again, I'd like to emphasize the fact of, of how easy and simple yes. this stuff was. And so basically, if you were to do this on a Sunday or Monday, you would have meals for the whole week for your whole that thing. Is, that is meal prepping. I like that. It's well, you important. could be watching TV or yeah. doing something and then... Um, well, you don't have to be standing over the stove. You go, Adam, if you want to get a point. No, and it was yeah. Said, yeah. very easy. Yeah, I love it. Look at this. And by the way, these are these the no carb or low carb? These are low carb. Okay. Because I know Press Cutter does now have the no they carb. Yeah, they do. Which I do like. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And you'll That's see. That's so good. You'll see that all mm. goes together well. What are we saying? I like those tortillas. They're super soft, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Very soft. That tastes restaurant quality. Mm. I'm not kidding. That's great. That's good. To that eat. is delicious. And, and you can do that at home. Make... Restaurant quality at home. Yeah. It reminds me, I can't remember the name of the place. It's a Mexican restaurant in Oklahoma. Oh, really? That okay. I stopped at. And this tastes just like one this of their. Is so huh. good. I don't remember the name of it, though, but it was so good. I was driving to Oklahoma, stopped there. <laughs> yeah. This is amazing. I'm going to be making this. And listen, you don't have to give up flavor with these, uh, with the low carb. No, these not are at all. really, really good. Yes. I love that, very trap. Easy. So, guys, here's the deal mm. go to Price Cutter today, thank an employee mm -hmm. because they're awesome. And then start meal prepping with your Instapot or pressure cooker, things we've learned today, and meal prep for the entire week for your entire family, and it is delicious. It is. Trav, thank you so thank much. You so thank you so much for being for here. Me. We yes. appreciate you making lunch for us mm -hmm. for the rest yeah. of the week. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. All right, coming up, we have a mass Singer tease for you. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Wow. I think it's the sauces. Is the sauces are so great. They go well together. They really do. I'm at a little 